Hello Libra, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 24th of July until the 30th of July 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the page of pentacles. This is a time for beginning a new project or venture. Now is the time to start acting on all of those grand ideas and concepts that have been brewing in your imagination. Now is the time to make them real. You need to grow and expand in a way that generates prosperity and wealth for the future. You are just at the beginning of a new project or venture that will require you to remain focused on tangible outcomes and results be clear on what skills and resources you will require in order to draw wealth and abundance to you. The Page of Pentacles has the desire to learn all things. He is dedicated to knowledge and the attainment of wisdom and new skills. He is devoted to all in which he is engaged and he has great concentration in his interests and pursuits. Thus, the appearance of this card suggests that success will come to you after you have mastered new skills and have set your mind to achieving specific, tangible goals. You may need to consider further study, expanding your skill sets at work, or learning completely new ways of doing things. Do not be afraid to be the apprentice again, even if you are a master of another domain. Think of those 70 year olds who enthusiastically start a university degree. The more skills you bring to your portfolio, the more goals and dreams you can achieve. Sometimes, the page of pentacles can represent a young person who has an entrepreneurial spirit. This person may be eager to attain wealth by pursuing a new business idea, by learning new skills or by applying themselves to a new situation. This page might be young but there is also great enthusiasm, commitment, dedication and a strong sense of responsibility to see the project through. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the four of pentacles. What do you want most right now is a financial stability with solid investments. You are very conservative about money and are not inclined to gamble in financial matters. You are very protective of what you have accumulated over time, and slowly and steadily you increase your net worth through saving money and safe investments. You are self-sufficient both financially and emotionally, as you often equate money with emotional security. This card also indicates possessiveness greed and an overly cautious approach to life. You may be afraid to take risks, both financially and emotionally for fear of losing everything that you have attained so far. As a result, you may be vaguely unhappy and unfulfilled. Deep down you are starting to realize that you have sold out for a conservative and overly safe approach to life. Thus, the Four of Pentacles indicates one of the dangers of prosperity the temptation to value money far above its real worth. If wealth and financial success lead to a miserly or penny-pinching attitude, then you have found yourself in a narrow-minded state where nothing is perceived to have any significant value other than money. This attitude is an expression of extreme attachment to the material things of the world and is unhealthy in the long term. Sometimes, 
The Four of Pentacles can indicate an inflexible attitude that is resistant to change. You have already established a way of living that now works for you, so why change? Change appears to be a threat to your certainty, safety and security, and may place you at risk of losing all that is important to you. Any suggestion of doing things differently is therefore going to be met with resistance for fear of how it will impact your personal sense of security. Thus, you are more likely to favor tradition and tried and tested ways of doing things, rather than taking any risks at this point. The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the seven of pentacles. You are afraid that your efforts may be scattered at this time and you are starting to question whether or not you are investing in the right areas. You may be outlaying some initial money on things that will not actually deliver results. So, the opportunity here is to examine your current and planned investments, both financial and time, and make sure that you are going to see a return on those investments. Use a prioritization system to ensure that you do not waste time and money on areas that will not deliver results. Similarly, the Seven of Pentacles indicates that even though you may continue to invest a lot of energy into a specific situation, you may not reap the rewards you are looking for. As such, this card calls on you to prioritize your activities very carefully. You need to do a cost-benefit analysis on the major tasks involved to bring your project to fruition as there are certainly a number of tasks that are currently taking a lot of your time and energy but are not bearing the rewards you are seeking. Take stock of what you still need to do and focus only on those things that will get you to where you want to be. You may find that there are a lot of things that you get involved in that are just not value add. For example, email and meetings are huge time wasters if not used effectively. Try to get down to the 20% of tasks that deliver 80% of the value, and focus on these, rather than investing your time in tasks that do not deliver any results. As a key strength, the Seven of Pentacles can indicate that you know when to stop investing in something when you are seeing little return. Some people are inclined to keep persevering at something, even if it is not working out, just because they have already invested a lot of time, energy or money into it. However, you are very good at identifying when a situation is no longer delivering you any value and knowing when to pack it in and try something else. In a relationship reading, the Seven of Pentacles indicates that you have been working very hard on laying the foundations for your relationship but now, for some reason, you are concerned that you are going to lose all of that. You may also be feeling frustrated that the relationship is not progressing or growing as quickly as you had hoped, particularly given that you have put in so much time and energy. Sometimes you can pour your heart and soul into something but it does not always mean that there will be results. You may come to the realization that it just is not worth your time and no matter how much you try, the relationship is going to continue to hit roadblocks. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you? Your card is, the three of swords. You might be feeling lonely, heartbreak, betrayal, separation and grief. By preparing for this difficult event, the emotional blow can be minimized or even prevented entirely. This is all about release. When you have suffered a major setback, or loss, it is a good time to have a good cry, which is all part of the cleansing process. Expressing your sadness and letting it all out will then help you to move on to better times. However, it is also important that you continue to focus on the future path ahead. There can be a risk that you may become overly absorbed in the loss and the surrounding emotions that you lose sight of the need to just let go and move on. The loss becomes your focus rather than the recovery. It is time to accept the loss and then move forward with your life. That said, pain, 
sorrow and grief are often a necessity in the journey of life. Without pain, there would be no challenge and no lessons learned. Pain can be a great motivator because it encourages you to surmount obstacles and ultimately learn from your mistakes. Each challenge you encounter creates that initial pain, which is inevitably turned into an opportunity to grow stronger and to change the direction of your life as a result of the lessons learned. While the pain may cloud your vision for a certain period, it will eventually allow you to see clearly and to put the past behind you. Though life seems meaningless at the time, recovery can and will occur. It takes faith, self-love, forgiveness and time. Count your blessings. The Three of Swords therefore serves as a reminder that if you can start to see pain as a learning opportunity, life will suddenly become less painful. You need to really get in touch with pain and sorrow. Challenges remain but once they are no longer perceived as negative or bad, they lose a lot of their impact. This card is therefore encouraging you that you have the ability to conquer any pain that comes your way. Understand how the pain can help you grow. If someone has betrayed you and you do not think you can never love again, challenge that belief. Do not be surprised when your heart emerges from darkness, capable of loving even more than before. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the Ace of Cups. You might have to curb your emotions somewhat for your greater benefit. For example, ending a relationship may spur you on to wanting to cry and cry for days on end but in order to heal, you really need to push back the tears and fight on in order to retain a balance. Try not to let your emotions get the better of you or take an unhealthy hold of your life. Sometimes it is possible to express ourselves too much, and in doing so, share our vulnerabilities or worse, attack the vulnerabilities of others. Find ways to constructively express what you feel so that you can continue through life with a more balanced perspective. Alternatively, the Ace of Cups could also suggest that you have repressed your feelings too long and it is now the time to release them. You may have bottled up so many emotions that you have become almost void of feeling true emotions and instead feel a general numbness inside. You are withholding your emotions, for fear of getting hurt. You know that in order for the relationship to move forward and flow freely you must eventually trust in your partner but for the time being, you are holding back. You may also be experiencing a roller coaster ride when it comes to your emotional well being. There are so many ups and downs in your life that sometimes you do not know if you are coming or going. Life has become emotionally exhausting and now your energy is running out. You need to look after your emotional health. Be conscious about how you are feeling and how this may be impacting your responses and reactions. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that, you may have. Your card is, the Queen of Wands. You need to be bold and courageous in your undertakings and actions. Your creative energies are high and you have a good sense of your life direction. You are highly optimistic, confident and full of ideas that you are ready to implement and share with others. You have an ability to express your passions with great authenticity and courage. The Queen of Wands is a natural extrovert and enjoys being the center of attention. She creates a powerful first impression and is a likable individual who makes friends easily by being sweet, warm and charming. She wants to be known, to be someone. She has bountiful social and professional networks and she draws people to her with her charisma and positive energy. She radiates health and vitality and has an inner vibrancy that fills her with ongoing energy and inspiration. This queen is a natural born, intelligent leader who actively inspires others. She can be quite the mover and shaker, influencing others through her vision, courage and determination. 
she instills confidence within you and gives you the power and self-assurance that you can achieve anything that you set your mind to. The negative side to the Queen of Wands is that she can sometimes be stubborn, particularly if she pursues an ambition or goal for too long and burns herself out in the process. Even the Queen of Wands is not invincible, even if she thinks she is. At times, she may also be deceptive, overbearing, irritable, righteous and even tyrannical, particularly if you get on her bad side. She also has a fiery, passionate personality with a quick temper. She may be known to get all worked up, yell and scream, and then give you a hug, all within the space of an hour. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the chariot. Congratulations. This card means you've successfully balanced a recently challenging situation. Your ability to see both sides, take action, and make decisions has garnered you approval, respect, and gratitude. So, bask in the joy of what you've accomplished. Stay calm and grounded, and be clear about what you're trying to achieve. It's important to show self-control, determination, and their willingness to go the distance at this time. Exercise control firmly, but kindly, with other people. Additional meanings of this card, self-discipline, sheer willpower, a great leap forward, a promotion or reward, travel, modes of transportation. Archangel Metatron can increase your motivation and energy level so that you'll accomplish your priorities. Metatron uses a sacred geometric shape called a Merkaba or Metatron's cube to warp time, which enables you to instantly manifest your dreams into reality. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.